ahora. My name is Lorena Guerrero Jiménez. I'm industrial designer and magister in history. I'm assistant professor in Design School of Politecnico Gran Colombiano of Bogota. My presentation is titled A Design Look of Heritage Cyberware Case Study, in which I'm going to talk about the a reserve project uh, on cyberware from colonial period. The research project a study of double headed eagle lecterns belonging to the silverware collection of the Colonial Museum began at the invitation from the museum team to contribute for researching its silverware collection, a process that began in 2018 and whose results are still in divulgation stage. The Colonial Museum of Bogota is a public institution attached to the Ministry of Culture of Colombia which in the last decade uh, has made a great effort to research its own collection to produce new knowledge and dissemination to its publication, thematic exhibitions, and educational workshops. At the beginning of 2020, I received an invitation from the museum to make an issue of a study notebook series Mm, that is a digital publication that presents the comprehensive study of a specific piece of the collection. I decided to link a, a team for, of four students from the industrial design program to this exercise belonging to the, the research seedbed that I direct. Uh, during the visit of, uh, to the museum, they chose a pair of silver lecterns as a case study. In this context, the first question to ask is, what is the contribution of a group of industrial designers in the study of a historical object? Uh, we begin um, this, the search and reading of articles and books about uh, colonial silverware and on theoretical reference around the notion of artifact. In the meeting sessions prior to the COVID pandemic, we discussed the concepts of some theorists as uh, Fernando Broncano, Klaus Krippendorf, and John Lowe, uh, and we approached the idea that a piece of, from the past is a complex artifact which can only be understood from the complexity of their relationships. And this is precisely how design makes a particular look of the object. Uh, site designers always consider communicative, uh, functional, productive, and exchange factors uh, when conceiving in new designs. Therefore, uh, we can describe those multiple relationships between the factors that, it, that existed in a specific geographic and temporal context and that caused the existence of that object. Trying to trace this network of relationships was the methodological thread of this project. At the beginning of 2019, our university opened an internal call uh, to support research projects from seedbeds. We applied uh, for this call and it was approved thanks to the proposal for new knowledge and dissemination products. It is important to highlight that all these products were established jointly and creatively between the four students and me, trying to highlight the possibilities of research creation from design. Well, the dynamics of this project was strongly affected by the health crisis derived from COVID-19, which made both the students and teachers work in isolation from our homes. Fortunately, uh, the direct approach to the pieces had already been made, um, an experience that is constituted as the first step of uh, our research methodology, which involves a detailed observations, taking me measurements and photographic, photographic study of iconographic details and technicians. From this information, the plans and technical sheets uh, of the pieces were developed. Subsequently, the analysis was carried out into axes. On the one hand, the chronological study, signs be, being richly ornamented pieces and with very specific symbols, it was sought to establish the semantic content that they thus sought to communicate in the society of the second half of 17th century. 
The interpretation was made from the link with the bibliography of the iconographic elements observed in the pieces, which also contribute to establish that the pair of lecterns must have had a Franciscan community as a context of use or donation. This finding was published in Notebook Study Franciscan Lecterns. In fact, it gave a new name to the pair of silver pieces. But not only that. An infographic structure and illustration were also produced that were part of the museography of the temporary exhibitions The Sacre and the Human, the Silverware in New Kingdom of Granada, presented at the Colonial Museum in 2021, February to September. On the other hand, a detailed study was carried out on the technical productive conditions. For this, they had the important support of the master silvermith Cesar Cárdenas, a goldsmith with more than three decades of experience who, despite the limitation of virtual communication, allowed the understanding of the tools and process that colonial silversmiths had to use to the elaboration of these lecterns, whose most outstanding technique is embossing. This aspect was very important in our research process, as it not only allowed the students to resolve all their technical doubts regarding the making of the lecterns, but also to understand the value of contemporary silverware as intangible heritage, whose knowledge has been kept alive thanks to the artisans who passed on their knowledge from generation to generation. The dialogue between colonial pieces and current silverware produced the entire repertoire of information and images to produce a virtual workshop in mock format entitled Silverware Techniques Yesterday and Today, which is currently being published by the Colonial Museum, in which you learn to recognize a production techniques based on silverware from the museum's collection. And at the end of this virtual workshop, you find a forum to reflect about the role of the museums and the public in the recognition and appreciation of the tangible and intangible heritage left from the colonial period. All these findings and knowledge production motivate the participation of the students in academic events, the process of which allowed their free approach to writing and presenting papers and articles, one of them already published. In turn, the experience of showing their process and observing other process strengthen the conviction of the contribution that design can make in the study of culture, uh, material culture. As can be seen, this project was an extremely rich scenario of training in research creation from the line of the history of material culture uh, through the journey, the contribution that industrial design uh, can make in the analysis of artifacts and historical context was discovered, but also the possibilities of creating products of multiple formats that bring new knowledge closer to generic public uh, in order to contribute to the valuation of tangible and intangible heritage. Thank you very much. Politecnico Gran Colombiano.